Anytime. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a to be continued vine in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, like I say, this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now in order to do this effect, you'll need three things. The sound effect, the to be continued image, and then of course a video you're going to be using. Now in the description, there will be one download link which will contain the audio and it will also contain the image of to be continued. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we're going to be dragging and dropping the video and I'm just going to play it through so you know what it is. Anytime. Oh shit! So that's the video I'm going to be using and when you insert your video, right click it, in select properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. From there, select OK. Now the next thing we need to do, find out where you want to stop it and have like the to be continued signed. So to do this you can either play it through or you can use the keyframes like this or you can also use the arrows on your keyboard. So I'm going to do it just as he hits like there, just there. Now from here press S on your keyboard. This will split your track like this. This track on the right you can select it and select delete on your keyboard. That is not needed. So then select the end of this track by left clicking, go back one keyframe by pressing the left arrow on your keyboard or of course pressing this. And now from here make sure this is set to best and full and we're going to be taking a snapshot. So select this button, I'm just going to call it image one and as you can see we've just taken a still shot of this right here. So now just put this on the end of the video. Just like that, make sure it doesn't roll over so it's just straight snaps on like that. And the next thing we're going to do, if we right click, insert a new video track, put the to be continued sign above it. And now you can choose how long you want this effect to last. So as you can see, it starts at 6 seconds and I'll probably make it go to 11 seconds. Just like that, I'm just going to drag further up like that. And now we need to position the to be continued sign. Now you can position this with the event pan and crop or the track motion. Personally, I use the track motion all the time and that's what I'm going to be using. So this is what a track motion looks like. Make sure sync cursor is checked. Make sure you are right at the beginning of the track. Now in order to make it smaller, you need to make sure lock aspect ratio is checked. Also scale by center is checked. Now just drag it in. And as you'll see, it's going to go smaller. Now the reason we check them two is because it keeps the image in proportion. And now you need to come to this box and just drag it out and just position it to wherever you would like to. And you can also left click here and use the arrow keys. And I'm going to have mine right there. I'm going to X out of this because that's all in position. The next thing we're going to do is add the color effect. So from this standard color, we're going to go to the color effect when it says to be continued. So for this you will need to go over to video effects. If you do not have video effects or you cannot see it, simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. So from video effects you want to come over to color corrector and now just drag on the default one onto the image we took. This is what you're going to get, change it to custom. So now we get this layout. Now what you want to do is change the low just about here. You want to change mid towards the top left, so about there, not too much. And then you want to change a high right up to the yellow. Just like that. And that gives, that gives us the sepia effect, or the sepia color. So you can come here and call this sepia. Then you can select this save preset. What this means, you won't have to remember the settings. And next time you come to color corrector, you can see it'll be right there. I've already called mine to be continued and you can just drag and drop it. Now the final thing we need to add is the music. So we can come to the projects media and drag it on here. This is the full length 
and it starts at 41 seconds the to be continued vine music right here so we can just S on our keyboard here delete the remaining and just drag it to place so now it drops right here so let's just play it through Anytime. as you can tell we need to position it so again we need to make sure this part is right there you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in there we go and then just come to the end of your track left click press S and delete the remaining now we're done so let's play it through Anytime. And that is how you do the to be continued button. Very simple. And let's just watch it one more time. There we go. There's a bit of a delay on the last one because it's set to best and full. But that is how you create the to be continued vine in Sony Vegas. So that is it for this video. And like I mentioned at the start, the to be continued image and the sound effect will be in the description in one download link. Also, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.